as we reported earlier, tech glitches through a big spanner in the first day of NAPLAN online testing at WA schools with 40,000 students unable to complete it. Years 3, 5, 7 and 9 are required to undergo the controversial NAPLAN test, but connectivity issues prompted a call to return to old school pen and paper. Parenting expert Claire Orange is with us now. Good afternoon to you, Claire. Hey, Tracy. You've spoken to teachers who have concerns about the type of devices being used for the tests. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, following yesterday's big uh, debacle, uh, it was interesting to read across a range of forums that uh, children in bring your own devices schools, some children were on laptops and some children were on iPads. And of course, you know, that, that increases another level of variability for our kids in this testing. So, uh, while some children are really proficient on a screen, it certainly slows most children down by not having access to that keyboard, Tracy. It sure does. Well, there's already so much controversy around that plan. Does this glitch just heap more stress? on our kids? Well, yeah, it does. And, and it's not just stress, it's frustration as well. So, you know, you've got kids who are naturally stressed out and feeling anxious about it. You've got kids who are feeling stressed because there's been a lot of emphasis and practice in the school and, and then they feel like they're going to let their, themselves, their parents and their school down if they don't do well. And then we put the glitches over the top, Tracy. And, mm. you know, for those children, and, and even for children who don't normally uh, crumble under stress, certainly being pushed on and off a system and having to log in and wondering whether that's going to impact their results. We've got kids who are counting on these results to get into secondary schooling. Uh, so for some children it would have increased the, the pressure on them exponentially. It certainly would have. Well technology is always going to be the way forward so how can we help our kids deal with it? Right and, and you know I think if we talk about that in the NAPLAN context this is all very new. We're in our second year of, of NAPLAN online so just reassuring children that all systems that are new can kind of go through glitchy patches just like mm -hmm. this and they're helping us to, to sort those problems out. But in terms of that online life that our children are, are having, you're right, it's, it's everywhere. And I think, you know, we need to um, manage and moderate ourselves as parents, mm -hmm. uh, make sure that we're showing that we're being healthy with our devices and put them down. We've got to demand that of our children as well. Lots of green time, less screen time, mm -hmm. get them playing, get them outdoors um, and make sure that we're keeping devices out of bedrooms and and places that we know are not safe for children. So we've just got to acknowledge this is part of our life now. Yeah. This is Our kids are growing up immersed in a digital world and we've got to manage us and help them to manage that certainly the best way they can with what we know. And also set the example as well from our point of view. <laughs> yes, much harder. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, Claire Orange, thanks so much. We'll catch you very soon. Thanks, Tracy.